Okay, good evening everyone. Good evening. Are you happy this evening? Really? Can you please stretch your lips? Mm -hmm. Stretch. Yan, nakikita ko na na magaganda at pogi kayo. Di ba? So, who among you here is really happy? Oh, si Kuya. What is your name, Kuya? Siya yung una tumas eh. Jeric, can you please come here in front? Kuya Jeric, di ba? So, what made you happy this evening? <laughs> what made you happy this evening? Anong nagpapasaya, nagpapasaya sa'yo ngayong um, evening na to? O ano yung mga bagay na sa tingin mo ay masaya ka, thankful ka? An ang nagpapasaya po sa akin sa araw na ito simula po kaninang umaga kasi first time ko rin pong nag-speaker sa aming dorm kanina pong umaga ay para pong napipil ko ba na ano na nasa akin na yung Holy Spirit na yun lang po patuloy pong nagbabago I have a question pa so do you think you are the happiest person here in this room? I think so. Yes. Really? So, dahil dyan, I will give you this. Oh, uh, Kasi, you are the happiest person here. So, I want to give you this one. Diva. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, you can see it. Okay? Dapat kasi kayo na unang tumas para may chocolate kayo. Pero, next time. And, as I continue my message, let's pray first. Okay? Our dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much, Lord, for this wonderful evening with you, Father. As we have our, um, as we have our learning this evening about your um, health lecture, may you please guide us. May you help us, Father, to understand and apply it in our daily living. Thank you so much, Father, for loving us in Christ. May pray, Amen. So, are you excited about my topic this evening? Are you excited? Yun ang gusto ko sa inyo, mga excited na excited. So, my topic for this evening is all about mental health. Okay? Do you have any idea about mental health? To be specific, I entitled my topic. Charan! Can you please read? Negative self-talk awareness. Sorry for the... Okay. So, here we can discover the nature of of the negative self-talk and the things that we can do in order to deal with this kind of situation in our daily living, okay? So first, let's define what is self-talk, okay? This is basically your inner voice, the voice in your mind which says things that you don't necessarily say out loud. So this is the things that you, um, you say only to yourself and there are two kinds of self-talk. The first one is positive self-talk. What is this? This is the stuff that makes you feel good about yourself and the things that are going on in your life. It is like having an optimistic voice in your head that always looks at the bright side. So it's all about the positive things that you are saying about yourself that will make you feel good and better. Okay? And the next one is Negative self-talk. This is the stuff that makes you feel bad about yourself and things that are going on. It can put a downer on anything, whether it is good or bad. So it's all about the negative and bad things that you're saying in yourself. So here, um, some people experience this one. Um, they tend to be shy to other people because they are thinking to themselves that, oh, I'm not that good enough. Maybe my playmates or my or other people will not accept me for who I am. Or maybe sometimes, especially for the guys, 
oh, I'm so, I have so many pimples. I am shy to face to my crush because I am like this. Maybe she will not accept me or will not like me because I have this kind of, you know, pimples. Diba? And sometimes, we are like this one. He is thinking that he is worthless or useless. And sometimes, we are like this. We are telling to ourselves that, oh, I'm, I'm so really fat. Maybe my uh, other people won't like me because of, of my figure, diba? So big belly. <laughs> okay? So, based on research, there are 10 things not to say to ourselves. Do you know that? So, let's discover. First, this is the statement of, I'm not worth it. There's no use. I can't do it. Um, I'll never follow through. People won't like me. Others are better than I am. I am not enough. I must be perfect. My opinion doesn't matter. I'll never be any different. Okay? So, here, we have six tips for overcoming negative self-talks. And I got um, the tips from the Word of God. Kaya, this is the good counsel for each one of us. And the first tip is, renew your mind. It says in Romans 12 verse 2, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we people tend to listen to other people about the things that, which is negative, diba, towards us. For example, oh, Aryan is too um, ganyan-ganyan. It's hard to please Aryan like that. And Aryan tends to listen to me because I'm saying the things towards her na ganyan-ganyan siya. But God is really, um, God is really merciful to us kasi um, He tends, not tends, talagang He really appreciates us and loves us um, for what we are. And um, sometimes in our lives, we tend to uh, down ourselves, to put ourselves down. And God wants to uplift ourselves through His words and we need to read his words in order for us to be empowered. Okay? And here, next one is learn a new language. Does it mean that we need to learn a Korean language, Chinese language? Huh, do you think? No. It says here, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we should replace the negative thoughts with the hope and life from the word of God. And we should learn many verses from the Bible. Um, for example, from Psalms 139, it says there that um, God has a purpose for each one of us. And from 1 Peter 2 verse 9, it says there that God has chosen us. And from those verses, we can able to cling on um, to God because we will feel that we are special in His sight. And instead of focusing on the lies from other people or in ourselves, um, we should focus our minds to God and to His words. And we can say this statement, Father, thank you that I am valuable, I am significant, I am forgivable, I am capable because of you. So because of you. Wow, what a wonderful statement. And next, change your focus. So here, set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. So instead of focusing or instead of comparing ourselves with others, we should focus our mind to God and to His goodness to our lives then. And... um. So, God wants us to use also our talents and our gifts to glorify Him and to establish good relationship with others and also to the church. Kaya, change your focus. Instead, um, change our focus to heavenly things compared to ano po, earthly things. And tip number four, counter the negative. So, it means that we should um, fight against the negativity. 
So we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So God has given us the power with the Holy Spirit to overcome evil or evil thoughts. So who among you here knows who is the best psychologist ever? Who among you here? Who? Mm -hmm. um, some people say that the best psychologist thou is Satan. Do you believe in that? No, I also don't believe in that. Because Satan only could in influence our thoughts by the evil things. But God, God is more foul, powerful um, compared to Satan because he could read our hearts and also our minds, diba? So, yan. So, practice training your thoughts to what God's word says. Okay? Train yourself. And the number five, stay on your guard. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. So, you should be careful enough to guard your hearts and your mind in all the things that you do and the things that you think because um, sometimes our enemy um, is always telling to us oh you are like this you are a sinner maybe your um, maybe your God will not accept you anymore because of um, your wrongdoings and maybe we sometimes tend to listen to him and we fail to we fail to guard our hearts and minds so we should be careful enough in that. And the next one is, stretch your faith. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So here, sometimes, God wants us to have a negative thoughts. Bakit kaya? Because God wants us to um, fully depend on Him. To be humble enough. To put our confidence on Him. For example, Lord, I am, I don't, ano, parang, I am weak in these things. I cannot do this by myself. And I know that I can do all things through you. And God will, God is willing to help you. Because you have the faith. I remember the story of the woman with hemorrhage from the Bible, diba? How, do you remember the years? How many years? Twelve, diba? Twelve years, imagine. Napakahirap ng situation na yun. And then, um, nagkaroon din siya ng self-talk and she said to herself, If I could only touch the hem of the clothing of Christ, I will be held. And ano pong nangyari? What happened? Huh? She was healed. And what did God say to him? Your faith make you made you healed. So we should I know we should stretch our faith in Christ. So first re let's review what is the first tip from the Bible? Yeah, and next learn a new language. Next change your focus. Counter the negative, stay on your guard, and stretch your faith. So, from Philippians 4 verse 8, it says here, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is novel, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. So, it, if we, thinks, uh, uh, if we think, think about these things, we can be able to be a stronger child of God. We could be able to be a stronger and confident. And it says here, be careful, be careful how you think your life is shaped by your thoughts. Yeah. And from 1 Corinthians 5 verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So if we surrender ourselves to God, He is really faithful to change us, to remake us to a new creature. And uh, maybe 
we could be able to surrender all our worries and concerns to Him in our negatives, in our um, imperfections. And here, Psalms 139 verse 14. Um, let's read all together. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So, you know guys, this topic is really a blessing for me. It's really a blessing for me because this afternoon, you know guys, I was crying to the Lord because talaga, cry, talaga ako sa Panginoon, Lord, paano, paano yung, yung aking pag-aaral ngayon? Ang hirap-hirap, thesis and everything and many many concerns about my my studies and while preparing this while preparing this topic i told to myself oh etel you should i uh, know you should have a positive self talk kasi you will you will present it to others later and you are like that and you know god is really uh, merciful to me because by this by this message by this lecture god saved me from depression or stress. Uh, amen? So thank you for listening and I hope you learned something tonight. Thank you.